Some of you here this morning haven't received Jesus. Some of you haven't trusted Jesus. And why haven't you? Is it because you hate him as well? Is it because you don't want him to reign over you? Is it because you don't want Jesus to tell you what to do? Is it because he calls you to give up everything, to lay down your life and to follow after him? You know, the fact that you think this way is really evidence that what the Bible says is true regarding the condition of your heart. Paul writes in Romans 8, verses 7 and 8, The mind set on the flesh is hostile toward God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not even able to do so. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You see, you can hear everything that we've heard. You can see everything that we've seen. You can even believe these things are true. But you're never going to actually receive the Lord Jesus Christ as long as you are in this condition. You need something more. You need what the Jews needed. You need a change of heart. And only the Holy Spirit can change your heart. Only He can break the power of the flesh that keeps you in bondage. Only He can give you a new spirit and a new inclination. Now, I'm, I'm happy to say this morning that that's what the Lord says He will give you. Those of you who haven't received Jesus, those of you who haven't trusted Jesus, those of you who need the Spirit of God, who need a new heart, He says He will give it to you if you will simply come and ask Him for it. The Lord is merciful. The Lord is gracious. I mean, the fact that we're here this morning is evidence of that very thing. Jesus came into the world to save those who are bound by their sins. Jesus won't turn you away. If you come to him, he will receive you. Come and receive him. Come and ask him for his mercy and see if he is not a gracious God.